Alright, what's up, familia? Welcome inside the big rig. Hope you guys are doing good. Keep you in between the lines. Got your load secure. Put my armrest down. Um, so, you know, uh, I've told a scary story, trucker story before. Uh, I'll probably retell it again. It's kind of an old, old video. But I uh, kind of want to tell another one. Um, and this isn't really so much of a scary trucker story because it actually st uh, happened in a, in a hotel that, uh, that I was staying at, right? Um, every now and then I got laid over. And uh, here, I'll put you guys off. Uh, every now and then I got laid over. And this time I was laying over um, at Whiskey Pete's. In Nevada and um, I you know my, I, I got to start my day pretty damn early homie we're talking about you know two o'clock in the morning I gotta get up and you know start doing my thing not every day sometimes you know it, my day doesn't start till like four in the morning but you know stuff like that but anyway man at, you know, this day I did have to get up at two in the morning to uh, to start my day, and I was laying over at uh, uh, like I said, Whiskey Pete's in Nevada. So um, I get up, <clears throat> I do my thing, and I'm ready to head out, right? So I get, I, I come out of my room. And when I come out of my room, now if you guys aren't familiar with Whiskey Pete's, uh, the hallways are pretty long. There's a pretty long uh, hallways, right? So I come out of my room, homes, and <clears throat> I see this lady, right? A little sketchy looking, okay? Um, my, my room is kind of like towards the end um, not too far from the elevator towards the corner now Whiskey Pete's has the hotel in the casino and then there's the major hotel right like kind of beside it or whatever but I was staying in the hotel that's pretty much in the casino but um but my room's all the way towards the end not far from the elevator so uh, so I get out and I I see this lady just kind of like in the hallway she's just kind of she's got her head leaning her forehead is leaning on the wall so I'm thinking like hey this you know she's drunk right so I close my door or I close the door to the room and that catches her attention because it's very quiet and she just starts looking at me. And she's, you know, she's down the hall, man. It's not like she's right next to me or anything like that. Uh, she, she's down the hall. And I could see, you know, she's the only person out there. Again, this is early, early in the morning. And it's a, it's a weekday as well. It's, it's not on a weekend. So it's a weekday. And uh, so it catches her attention. So she looks at me and she just stands. She just stands like straight. She doesn't make any movement, nothing. She's just standing there just looking at me. And so, all right, man, I make a little eye contact with her and uh, I don't say anything, right? She's, she's in the distance. I just kind of put my hand up like that, kind of like, hey, you know, like a gesture, like, hey, you know, good morning. You know, that's about it. And, um, and she just kind of like puts her hand up slowly and then puts her hand back down, but she's just staring at me. I'm like, all right, cool. So I just go to the elevator and she just, you know, I kind of look in the corner of my eye and she's just standing there. So I'm like, all right, cool. And then she starts walking towards me. I'm just kind of waiting for the elevator. I'm like, man, you know, I don't, I don't really want to chop it up. This girl looks pretty sketchy, right? 
I don't know if she's drunk or what, but she just kind of starts speed walking towards me. Again, she was pretty far down the hall. She starts speed walking, the elevator gets there, the elevator opens. As I'm going into the elevator, this is quite a few years ago. Uh, as I'm going into the elevator, she starts sprinting. Or maybe I shouldn't say sprinting, but she starts running. And I could see, because I, I, I'm stepping into the elevator and I kind of turn a little bit, she starts running. And I'm like, oh man, you know, I don't know what's gonna go down here, homie. Uh, I don't know if she just, maybe she's just trying to catch the elevator. You know, maybe that's it. I, I got no idea. But I'm like, I don't want this high not getting in the elevator with me, dog. You know, or I, she's not, she doesn't seem like she's in her right mind. I don't know if she's gonna go in attack mode. I got no idea. So I get in the elevator and I'm, you know, I push that door close um, for the doors to close, right? But I don't think it's gonna happen in time. So I got my bag with me. I put my bag down because I'm thinking, hey, look, I don't know if one girl is looking to get active or trying to throw down or what, man. I got no idea, Holmes, right? And um, believe it or not, as as she gets there, she just stand, she stops and she just looks at me and the doors start closing and she just stands there just looking at me. The doors closed, which was kind of like real, like, because she got there and I just kind of looked at her and just kind of like nodded my head up like, you know, good and she just didn't really do anything. The doors closed, that was it, got to my truck and uh that was it homes you know i was on my way dog and uh i'm not really sure what her deal was uh like i said she seemed i thought she was intoxicated but i got no idea just some uh kind of weird broad that's out there man but anyway i just thought i'd tell you guys that story um some people have asked me, hey, what's the craziest things that you've seen out there? I gotta be real, guys. There's, I already told the craziest story out on the road. I'll go ahead and retell that, but, um, no, I don't really got, like, super duper crazy stories out there. There's some crazy things that I've seen, but nothing, nothing that all that way, you know, way, way out there and stuff like that, but, uh, I thought I'd tell that story, even though, it's not really that much of a trucker story. It was more of like a hotel story. But with that, guys, live your life like you're on the road. Be aware of your surroundings and always keep safe. This is blood. Make sure they have loyalty makes your family. Until next time, this is the Total Trucker. Over and out.